Today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool simple game using a coat hanger, a handful of electronics and a drinks can. Start by taking your hanger and use some snips to cut the hook off like this. Next we want to open the hanger out a bit and bend the ends of the wire over 90 degrees like this. We will need some cardboard so I'm cutting the flaps off this box like this and we're going to use these as a base for our steady hand game. So we'll be mounting the wire into the cardboard. Open them out, make sure it stands roughly central, then pierce holes through the cardboard like this. Remove the hanger, take an empty drinks can, snap off the ring pull, and slide it up over one of the legs like this. Thread the hanger back through the holes in the cardboard again. Then use some tape to stick the hanger to the underside of the cardboard like this. Once you've done both legs, turn it back over and place it on the other piece of card. Next I'm using some parcel tape to fix together the top and bottom layers of card. Do all four sides. And when you're done you can bend the hanger into whatever twisted shape you like. Next I'm lifting the ring pull out of the way and I'm using some insulation tape to make a barrier at the bottom of this leg. Then take a wire, I bought these with crocodile clamps already attached, clip it to the base of the other leg, then wrap some tape around that leg too and also cover any exposed metal on the clip. It should look like this. We're going to be using a battery and a buzzer which you can buy online or from an electronics store. I'm also using this snap clip battery connector but do make sure the ends of the wires don't touch. Then I took the buzzer, applied some double sided tape to the rear and stuck it in the middle of the board like this. I also put some double sided tape onto the battery and fixed that just behind the buzzer here. Next I connected the two red wires from the battery and the buzzer by twisting them together. then wrapped them in insulation tape. I used some clear tape to hold the wire in place. Then I brought the black wire around the back and taped that in place too. I'm connecting that to the other black crocodile clip like this. Then holding down all the excess wire with tape too. You should now have something which looks like this. Next we need to take another wire. Clamp it to the black wire coming out of the buzzer. And hold that in place with tape too. Now look what happens when we touch the metal coat hanger with the other clip.
We complete the circuit and activate the buzzer. Pretty cool, huh? So now we can clip onto the drinks can tab. And I'm using two craft sticks to make a handle. I'm taping the wire down to one stick. Then fixing the other stick on top. When you're done, it should look like this. And now it's ready to use. And you can see just how steady your hand is. It really is tricky. You do have to concentrate a lot. When you get to a corner, you have to twist the handle to match the orientation of the tab to the wire. This drinks tab doesn't give much room for error. And of course, if you touch the side, you activate the buzzer. It's a really good fun little game. You can try doing it both left and right handed. And see if you can get further than friends or family. When you get to the end, the insulation tape makes a break in the circuit to give you a safe zone. Same at the start. You can either try doing it backwards, or slide it back to the other end and go from there again. If you find it's just too difficult, you can disconnect the clamp from the tab, take a metal keyring, thread it over the wire, and clamp onto that. This gives you a lot more room for error. But it'll still bleep if you touch the wire. It might be good if your hand isn't very steady. And the drinks tab is just too difficult. It's good to practice with this. And when you're feeling ready, you can just unclip and reattach to the drinks can tab to see if you've improved. If you're fed up with the bleeping and want to isolate the circuit, you can disconnect the battery or just unclip these leads. If you like this electronics project, you might also like some of my previous videos. In this one, I showed you how to make a whole electronics activity board, which is really cool. There's a motor, light bulb, buzzer and a variable resistor. And in this one I showed you how to make a microphone out of a matchbox. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun and as always, thanks for watching.